Hey, what's up guys? Now I'm in Guangzhou and I come here for snowboard because um, they just built a uh, largest indoor ski resort here. When I just arrived here, I find there's a very famous market not far away from the ski resort. It's called Chen Tian. This is a quite interesting market because it's considered as the largest market for the disassembled car parts. So these car parts, they are not brand new, they are also not like second hand. They are all removed from cars which has accident or cars which is stolen and disassembled, imported to China from all over the world. What makes this market become famous is that when it's back to 2015 and there's a uh, German auto magazines and they have a testing car, a BMW. The window was broken by somebody and uh, the computer system was stolen. So they go to BMW, finally check the computer system was traveled around 20,000 kilometers away from Germany all the way to China. Then it's located in a place called Chen Tian, which is here. All the accident cars will be firstly disassembled in somewhere around here and resell to body shops all over China from here. I just see a fresh accident Volkswagen Phaeton that moved here it's waiting for disassembled and that car will be treated like a, a dead fish that waiting people to cut him into different pieces and move to different stores here and waiting for resale to other part of China So in this market, you can find almost every single parts of whatever the brand or whatever the model of the cars. You can find stores here that specialize in selling wheels, doors, windows, lights, and even engines. You can also find brands like Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes, and even Bentley and Ferrari. The most important thing for coming to this market is that you can find almost all parts for very, very low prices. This is about how much it costs? Oh. This is the front face of a Lamborghini Aventador and they sell around 2,000 US dollars But if you want to get a brand new one, uh, you need to pay at least 10 times more price For me, I have a Porsche Boxer and the car got some problem with the PADM system. There's something wrong with the uh, mounting part for the engine. And the local Porsche dealer told me that they need to charge me like uh, around 2,000 US dollars to replace a new mounting part for that. It's not a big problem, but it's uh, kind of like annoying when I turn on the car and the error message will show up. But I do think that spending 2,000 US dollars uh, it's too much for fixing this small issue because I am in this market here so I'm more interested in to see if I can get the parts here for very low price let's go and see what I can get uh, Yo 
，反正杭州一带说我名字都行了。哦，可以。因为我们幺四年就开始做。哦，好的好的。北京一带也有也有人认识的。哦。So they do have the parts, and uh, they only called me 2,000 RMB, which values like uh, 300 US dollars. And this is their first quad, and without any bargain. I didn't buy immediately because I want to go back home and try to find a body shop that can help me replace the parts. Then I will ask the seller here to ship me. It really makes sense that why and how this market exists. For example, an Audi A4 sells 400,000 US dollars in China, but our original lights cost at least 2,000. So why not just buy a nice and cheap one from here for 200 dollars if you are paying from your own pocket? Because sometimes your insurance company won't pay you, or you don't want to spend that much money on the insurance. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to find some cheap car parts, you can come here. No matter it's for your personal use or for your business. And if you like our video, please give up some time and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in our next video. Bye!